Justin, obviously a close one last time out, man. Well, uh, came up a little bit short on that one. What, what, what did you think, take out of that fight? Man, you know, um, I was pretty proud after that fight because that second round, I, I couldn't really see out of my eyes and um, faced a lot of adversity then to, to come, come back in the later rounds and, and provide that kind of fight for the crowd. You, just, you, you can't be sad, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, if, if you, I mean, you want to win every time, right? But if you can be known as that type of fighter that, like, to go out there and for heavyweights to bang it out like that, that's got to be something to be pretty proud of. Yeah, you know, like that first round, I was dusting him up. But in my head, I'm like, fuck, I need that bonus. So I was like, you know, I'll, I know he likes to, to throw. I'm going to throw and we'll, we'll put on this, this crazy show. Very nice. Got the pretty quick turnaround as well, right? Was that important to you? I mean, I only got to fight once last year. So was it, like, important to, to get a quick turnaround and get back into it? Yeah, 100%. You know, like, uh, especially after that kind of decision, man, it, it just it itches at you. So I wanted to get in a shed as, you know, as, as, as soon as possible and get that dub back. Did you need time to, like, rest and heal up at all? I mean, that was quite the battle. No, no, man, I felt good, you know, like, I had a bit of a, a tooth infection before, and that's what kind of blew my cheek up, man, so my cheek was, was swollen the whole week, if, if, if you had seen clearly, and then getting punched, I thought, oh, you know, the adrenaline will kick in, I won't feel it. Man, punched me in the cheek, and then my whole ear was aching, I was like, fuck, <laughs> yeah, nah, that's not going to work. <laughs> was that distracting during the fight, I mean, to be feeling like that? kind of pain during the middle of the fight i was kind of good it kicked that adrenaline out you know that adrenaline rush that you get in the beginning of the fight i was like damn fuck, that was painful man like, <laughs> <laughs> that's great so did you get a, did you have to get a tooth removed or something or yeah i got a three um root canals painful it was more painful than the fight <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. uh all right fighting here in the united states uh, different experience at all than, than fighting in fight island i mean does it make it any better or does the travel any easier man i just got in yesterday so after two, 22 hours of flying, so, I, man, I'm, I'm pretty tired right now, to be honest. Um, usually you get a few more days to adjust to the weather and the, and the time, but, man, I love to fight, and I, I don't really care. I'll, I'll fight anyway. That's crazy. Was it, was it scheduled that way, or were there complications? Or Yeah, what? yeah. No, that, that's just the way it went. I was like, damn, you're giving me a, <laughs> a thin timeline to adjust to this, this, this time difference, but man, if you dwell on it, you know, it was, it'll affect you, so you just, you just roll with it. Just a lot of coffee before the fight, basically? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Jared, uh, do, do you know much about him? When they gave you that name, and obviously he's kind of new to the organization, did, did, did you know anything about him? No, not really. Uh, they just gave me a name, and I, I wanted to fight, and I said yes. You know, um, right now there's there's a lot of up-and-comers in the heavyweight division that, that are ducking these kind of fights. You know, they, they, they want to fight the old husbands that are one jab away from getting dropped. But I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I mean, I'll fight anyone and, and take the hard route you know, to, to crack that top 15. That's awesome. Did you study his game at all before this, or do you, do you worry about that kind of thing? Um, I got my brother to, to, to um, waste his time watching video, and uh, I'll have a little look in that, but there wasn't much to look at. Nice. So what's the goal here? I mean, is it, if, you, if you could choose between, hey, you can go and you can get a win, but it'll be kind of boring, or you can go get a loss, but it's going to be a, a great fight, man. It's going to be amazing. People are going to be talking about it. Which one would you take? Man, you got to risk the biscuit there, eh, you know. For, for more money, man, I need to, need to buy my son some new footy boots. So I'm going there and I'm, I'm going to put my, leave my, my whole heart there. That's awesome. it would be a big result for you. What's, what's the plan this year? I mean, you went here, like you said, it sounds like you're willing to fight just about anybody, right? So, I mean, is the goal just to, to go as much as possible? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, like um, I'm not chasing that, that nice record or anything. This is the beauty of MMA, especially in the UFC. If you win, you fight the better guys and... If you keep winning, you, fight, you keep finding better guys. There's, there's none of this padding records or, or whatnot. I'm here. I hopefully can get two more fights. You know, God willing, if I win this fight and come injury-free, I want two more fights for the year and, and be knocking on that top 15. Nice. Those footy boots aren't cheap, right? You gotta... Oh, man. My son wants all those fancy, colorful ones. I'm just like, bro, go run in some jandals. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So last thing for me, I mean, like you said, High, high stakes for last time, a high standard that you set last time in terms of excitement. When you play this one out in your head, do you feel like it's going to be another exciting one like that? Or do you feel like, hey, you can go get these highlight reel finishes that you're capable of as well? Man, I know this guy's talking about standing and bang, but I've seen this fight here about that life, you know. So I'm going to try to bring that excitement out of him. Whether he tries to hug me or not, I'm going to try to knock him out. Justin, did you say you had three root canals leading up to that last fight right before the fight? No, I, had, I got it after. I, I, had, after. The, I had like um, a bad infections during my camp and 
I couldn't really do anything about it, you know, because it's, it's like four different visits for, you know, for the root canal processing. I did one tooth, and then they split in half, inspiring. I was like, fuck, what a waste of time. I went through all that pain. <laughs> and then they had to take the tooth out. I was like, far out. What a waste of my time, bro. So that's what led up to, in the fight, the, you know, oh, the swollen. Yeah, yeah, man. You can ask my, my corners, man. It, all week, I was like, far my eye feels like it's starting to shut. That's how swollen my cheek was getting. And my younger brother, Junior, was just like, nah, man, I can't even tell, you know. And right after the fight, he was like, bro, it was so ugly the whole week. I had to hold it in. I was like, far out. He said, guy should have told me. <laughs> I mean, anybody that's had uh, any problems with their teeth know that oh. that's one of the most painful things. Bro, it was so way more bad. After that, that people were like, oh, we, you know, man, we said about the robbery or this. I'm like, far, I just want to get my teeth fixed, man. My ears aching, my head's aching, man. You know how, you know how it's like, you, you know how it's like, but it's, it's, it's painful, man. So. You, you don't think, like you said, you're just happy, you're happy with your performance, even though, you know, uh, some people thought that you had won that fight, uh, kind of a controversial decision that you lost by, but that doesn't bother you. It, are you just one that wants to get in there and, and uh, rough it up and, and see how it goes? Yeah, definitely. You know, like, it's up to the judges ultimately to decide who wins or, or loses. But at the same time, when you, when you go on social media and, you know, 95% of the the crowd, even the, even the commentators that night messaging me saying I should have won. You know yourself if you've performed well or not. You know, I, I would rather take that loss than be someone that's, that's celebrating. You know, I, I remember there's, there's people that get the bad robbery wins and, 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 and they're celebrating. You know, I'm like, man, how do you live with yourself? You know, you know in your heart you, you lost. So I take pride in that loss. So uh, you haven't fought much lately. It's been, you know... <laughs> Uh, you know, leading up to the, your last fight, uh, even though one was uh, you, you pulled out, how often would you like to fight? Hopefully, uh, four times this year. So I fought in Jan. I fight this week. Hopefully, two more times. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. You posted on your social media about a fellow fighter that was attacked in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fighters have been talking about the types of attacks that have been happening. I was wondering if you could speak on that. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, my prayers are with uh, Fawake and his family and also the City Kickboxing Gym. You know, this it's, it's the worst, the lowest, lowest of acts, you know, like um, King Hit or Blind Shot. When you punch someone from the back, you know, they're, they're waiting for the taxi and you're in a group and you, you attack someone, man, like, you're trying to, you're trying to kill them, essentially. And I, I've seen it. They're trying to get tougher laws in New Zealand to combat that. But um, right now, I just hope I... Uh, Everyone's uh, sending their prayers to Fowl and man, he's a promising fighter. I've spied him a couple of times. I'm like, oh damn, man, this this guy can pop. I know Izzy as well has said that he's given them a lot of problems inspiring. So it's, it's, it's such a shame that, that someone so talented is, is, is currently fighting for his life. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.